Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Uh, today's question is how to make breakable bricks like in Mario. So I have uh, some images down to save us time. Uh, essentially we just have a platform set up on my Mario sprite. Uh, we have a solid ground here and just have some background. Um, if we hop into our event sheet, uh, I just have a way to make my character face left and right and change animations between idle, jump, and run. Um, we have the keyboard object set up and then a few objects here that we didn't talk about um, that we will get to see here soon. So we have our brick. Um, I built my own little animation for breaking and essentially we'll jump into that and play the animation. Once it's finished we will destroy the brick but we don't want it to break when we land on top of it. We want it to only break when we hit the bottom. Um, so to do this I'm going to create a new sprite and we're gonna make this guy 32 by 5 and I got those numbers from the fact that this is 34 so I want to be just smaller than this so it fits inside and then 5 I just need it to be big enough to make sure that it's overlapping and I'll zoom in on here so you can see it's just inside the brick so you don't accidentally break it by hitting the outside of the brick um, but we do make sure that we hit our invisible sprite right here before we hit the brick no matter what so yeah we're good right there and if you don't like working with invisible sprites you can always color this in that way you can see it uh, without having it be clicked and then you can just uh, set it to initially visible uncheck and that way it doesn't show up in the actual game and then we will take uh, the invisible let me rename that visible breakpoint and we will container it with the brick and this will make these two talk to each other that way when I hit this specific invisible breakpoint it knows I'm also referencing this specific brick um, which wouldn't matter with just the one, but once I copy paste and grab a few of these There we go and Take note. I did make sure to select both the breakpoint as well as the brick that way each one has their own And I will take all these and throw them on our map and then our brick also has the solid behavior. That way we can stand on it and bounce off it and all that fun stuff. We got our bricks. They're solid. We can run on top of them. And now we need to set up the code to break them. And that'll be a simple code of a collision check. So on collision with, and we're going for our invisible breakpoint. And then we also want to be in the air uh, to make sure we're jumping. So we'll throw on a is on floor and just inverse that, invert that and then we will set the brick to play an animation and we'll play our break animation and then every time a brick plays its break animation and finishes we'll destroy it to get it out of the way and we'll hop back in and you can crush them you can stand on top of them you can hit the sides without anything weird happening and you can break them. Alright, hopefully that helps. I'll catch you all next time. Have a good one.